Alright, part two. Um, well, I suppose I'd better tell you, my name's Stephen J. Humphrey, independent candidate for Bournemouth East in the next general election when Gordon Brown finally gets off his arse and gives us, the people, a general election, which we asked for, well, I certainly have asked for the last couple of years. I sent off a notice in January, definitely. Gordon Brown, it's there in your mailbox, if it ain't been deleted. Right, that was the other point I wanted to make about this movie, Oh Canada. Um, the conclusion at the end was don't vote. Um, because you're basically voting for an abusive, bankrupt, corrupt and incompetent government that has the interests of bankers at its heart and not you. It doesn't have you at its heart. It doesn't, it's not there for the people, by the people. It's not there to give you extra 10% on your benefits. It's not there to cut your taxes by 10%. It's not there to ensure that travel is free and fair. It's not there to ensure free and fair elections. Government is there entirely at the behest of people like Rockefeller and Rothschild and this new guy I've learnt about, Demere. Um, owner of Paracorp in Canada. Right. And um, so uh, I challenge the idea that you shouldn't vote. I think that the reason we're in this situation is because we voted for idiots like David Cameron and Gordon Brown and, and no offence David, but to people like David Davis. Um, who are all alleged to be Bilderbergers. Ken Clark, for example, Bilderberger, frequent attendee. Secret societies suck. They don't give a fuck about us. They just give a fuck about their shareholders. People like David Rock Rockefeller and Rothschild and Demere and Sarkozy and um, all of these interbred, intermarried political alliances that are there purely to make people like David Rockefeller loads and loads of money. And um, not for us, and yet we're 97% of the population of the world. You divide $52 trillion by 6 billion people and you'd end up with a thousand pounds or 10,000 pounds or something. 20,000, is it? Oh, I can't be honest. Right, so why should you vote? Why shouldn't you vote? Well, the, the simple fact is, until we get into Parliament, people like us, long beards and shaggy hair and all that kind of stuff, until sensible people, decent people, that are not Bilderbergers, that have got no suspicion, that are 100% 100, 100 integri integral, of their integrity unquestioned. Like, what, I've done some things in the past, like stole cars during the middle of my mum and dad's divorce, but I paid the price. Rehabilitation of Offenders Act is one of the most un, unused laws in this country. After 10 years, your prison sentence is, is ignored. Rehabilitation of Offenders Act. And yet I do a, a CRB check a couple of years ago, and boom, 1985, crime. Why? 25 years ago that was. Um, so why should we vote? Why shouldn't we vote? Just because the candidates that are on offer are all Bilderbergers, are all corrupt, abusive, bankrupt, incompetent people. Now yeah, there's some good people, good politicians, but that's it, they're good politicians. They may not be good people, they, they may be bankrupt, they, they, they may shake Robert Mugabe's hand and say, oh Mr Mugabe, I love you, I'm going to give you a blowjob in a minute, do you want a blowjob Mr Mugabe? And yet Mugabe crippled his country, bankrupted his country, hyperinflation, just like Weimar, the Weimar, Weimar Republic in the 20s. Robert Mugabe's the new Hitler. 
don't believe them. You just look at look at the news that they don't tell you. They just look at the news about girls getting raped by police, by girls getting raped by mugs, thugs. Um, so what we need is a new class of candidate. We need a decent set of candidates that are not bankrupt, that are not corruptible, that are not abusive. I mean, I fucking swear all the fucking time, but I won't abuse your rights. I won't steal your money in compound interest every day. I mean, in this film, O, o Canada, it revealed the fact that Canada government owes is paying off 160 million dollars every day to people like Demere and Rockefeller and he's I guarantee it if we had a proper and lawful investigation a full and comprehensive review of Canadian government from the smallest paper clip to the biggest corporate jet that they've got and the biggest capital outlay that they spend like this highway 407 um you trace it all the way back to her majesty the queen or something all right because they're all interrelated they're all all friends of friends and married to mrs demere and things like that <sighs> so why vote why shouldn't you vote it's because you haven't got a decent candidate David Cameron, I guarantee it, is not a decent candidate. He's not talking about killing off the, the Federal Reserve System. He's not talking about nationalising all the banks so that we, the people, get the profits, not the banks. He's not talking about um, fair, free and fair elections. He, he's quite happy to to have a £500 deposit for all candidates. And yet, and yet the Bill of Rights 1689 clearly states that all elections should be free and fair. Don't believe me, look it up. Read it for yourself. Free and fair elections. Now how, how does requiring a deposit for £500 give you a free election? What is the definition of free and fair? I'd like to know. I've asked the Electoral Commission for their advice, and luckily they've given me the schedule of law that Maggie Thatcher and her government put into power that requires a £500 deposit. So, you know, so even before you get, to, even before you make the decision to stand for Parliament, you need to find £500. But I disagree. It's against the Bill of Rights, 1689 clearly states free and fair elections. Free and fair. So if you're jobless, stand for Parliament. If you're retired, got no income, stand for Parliament. And then change Parliament to suit you and us, the, we the people. Don't don't let David Cameron win. Because he's guar I guarantee you five hundred pounds, right? I'll write a promissory note. I promise to pay the bearer £500 if David Cameron is not working for the Rockefellers, is not working for the Bilderbergers, is not working for bankers, is not working for corporate interest. Guarantee it, he's not working for you. Right? Because he, he, worked for, he worked for these media moguls years ago, before he was recruited to the Tory party. Anyway, last minute, I'll probably make this the last part um, till next week. Um, my name's Stephen J. Humphrey. If you haven't already guessed it, I'm standing as an independent candidate at the next general election to represent the people of Bournemouth East, South West Region, Great Britain and the world. And if you don't vote for me, well, uh, I can't be held responsible for the actions of people like David Cameron when they get elected. And the last 20, 30 seconds... Gordon Brown, if you're listening, I want a general election tomorrow, please. As does 54% of the general election electorate. 
right? 54% of your electorate want a general election. Times Guardian poll, or Mori poll, or whoever it was. Right, so vote for me if you can, or vote independent, or don't vote for David Cameron, please. He's an idiot, I'm sure of it. Um, and, you, and yes, David, you can sue me if you want. I'd love the time in court to prove it. Hi, my name's Stephen J. Humphrey, independent candidate for Bournemouth East at the next general election when Gordon Brown finally gives us one. Ciao.